Hi, Kevin from Derby Train Systems. I'm going to be showing you some exercise uh, techniques today, specifically rowing motions. I believe the horizontal row is one of the best exercises you can use for good shoulder health. There's many variations you can use, and I'm simply going to do a medley of all the different variations that you could use on a functional trainer. As always, we start with our up, back, and down cue. Remember, up, back, and down doesn't mean up, back, and lock the shoulders down. It's simply a shoulder set. Uh, first variation, using a split stance here. I'm going to use a pronated grip. I get my up, back, and down cue. My hand is on the lower rib to ensure I'm not flaring my rib. I can retract this way with a slight pause. I can drop the shoulder down, slight pause. I can use a neutral grip, slight pause. I can do the exact same thing from a kneeling position, slight pause at the end, slight pause at the end, slight pause at the end. The reason I do this slight pause is to make sure that you are um, holding at the end range of scapular retraction. It's a position where many people are weak and they'll use momentum to overcome that. I can adjust the angle. And from this lower position here, I could simply do to the waist. I can do a rotating grip to the waist. Same up, back, and down. Pull and a slight pause. In the bottom position, the traditional rows that you know, up, back, and down. I can row to my waist, pronated grip, neutral grip. I can bring the angle up a little higher, or I can bring the handle angle up uh, quite high. Again, up, back, and down, which eases those positions. Some other options. Using our traditional straight bar, we can do close, mid, wide, and extra wide variations. We can do it with a pronated grip, and we can do the same things with a supinated grip. For those of you who have the D handle bars, you can do the same things with a, a neutral grip. This is what I believe is the best starting exercise. It's the easiest one of all the rows in order to lock in position. It's just using a close grip D handle, again, up, back, and down for the shoulder. And this really helps a person to lock in that idea of arms, 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 retract the shoulders, and finish the position. Arms, 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 scap humor rhythm, and then finish with the retraction of the shoulders. And this doesn't have to be unnatural. It's not a stick of the shoulders. It's a pull and a pause. It's a pull and a pause, and you should feel the opening of the shoulders as you are uh, doing that movement. Finally, we can use the rope from this position, gain an overhand grip. You can pull to your waist, pull to your chest, pull to your chin. You can do it with more of a neutral grip, pulling to the um, uh, chest. I can slide this up to a higher position. Uh, from the high position, we can do a variety of face pulls. I can pull the grommet here to my chin, grommet to my nose, grommet to my forehead. Those are options. If you want, you can pull the rope through and do some one arm variations to catch the scap at a different angle. You can do this here, 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 just pulling in. It's a shorter range of motion, but it's uh, giving you an exercise at a, um, stimulating the scapula in a different position. Okay. There are just a few row variations using the functional trainer. There are dozens more using barbells uh, and dumbbells, both uh, unilateral and bilateral work. Remember, mobile to move and stable to train.